to export to Flash. We had this new file format called XFL, Extended Flash. And it allows you to actually take uh, compositions like this one and export the uh, background and the text and everything, the text integrity so you can change the text still inside Flash. So you can actually go, the Flash guy has got inverse kinematics and all sorts of 3D animation tools. We got the ability to do gorgeous text and really nice comps. <laughs> you know, you win with one, you lose with the other, you know. So, but we actually export now to the XFL format. So we don't have to generate a SWIF. We can actually give them a true layered element that they can then manipulate those layers inside Flash because you know what? Flash is king and God and they basically want to make it better. Uh, an example of Flash production would be here where we're doing these quite intricate multi-layered animations with particle effects here inside After Effects. But again, I can export this out as a, uh, as a SWIFT or a Flash file. And if I go back to here, I can actually, so this is the Flash export that came out of After Effects, okay? Where I can actually go over and, well, there's some sound effects there. So all these bits and pieces that I, I'd used the 3D functionality and everything else inside After Effects, I can export either as a SWIFT or as an, or as an XF, X, X, XFL, XFL file, okay? So it's meaning that, you know, the more and more work you do inside After Effects can be taken throughout the whole production chain. <laughs>